Um, we are looking uh, at your 15-year career. Beautiful. <laughs> Not many players play 15 years. You, you know, you could have another five years gone. So. <laughs> thank, thank you for reminding me. Why are you still here? <laughs> why, why are you still here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I asked myself that question too. Why am I still here? From Croatia, Marin Cilic. There's a lot of players, Nick, that would sign for his career. Uh, and we hear it very often just for the love of the game. I mean, you know, how many people in the world actually do enjoy what they do and really can be benefiting out of it, um, be helping the community, um, you know, for me with the charity work through my foundation, uh, also being on the tour, uh, trying to improve yourself every single day, every single week. This sport is in that sense incredible. <laughs> But uh, for me, it's also part to see how far I can go, uh, what I can reach uh, with my own level. And uh, that, that is definitely pushing me forward. So uh, I enjoyed success with winning a lot of different tournaments with uh, you know, US Open and a couple of finals of Grand Slams, uh, winning the Master 1000 event. But you know, it's still that part in me that wants to improve and wants to get better. Oh, he's done it! And what a way to seal victory! Maran Cilic wins his very first Masters 1000 title. Still have that small article back at home that is framed and uh, sits on the wall, and it says, One day at Wimbledon. And that was my dream, you know, as a 14 year old kid. Uh, coming from a small town, that dream came true many, many years ago in 2007. And since then, uh, I'm living the dreams that I have never dreamt of and not even thought of uh, that I'm going to be playing 15 years on the tour and having so much success. So everything what happened is was just a miracle. Yeah, definitely it's been a really long career, 15 years on the tour and uh, seeing a lot of places as, as you can imagine. I have to say the career was in every sense incredible and, and to be a part of this generation that has played uh, in these uh, you know last 10-15 uh, years was was just uh, really uh, once for for one thing a dream come true and the other side also uh, incredible experience the mind changes during the career. When you are a youngster coming up on the tour, you feel there is so much time ahead of you, you know. There is so many chances for you uh, to win these Grand Slams, big tournaments, you're anyway playing, you know, you always feel there is going to be a chance. But when the time just starts to click on and, and goes on and on and on, and uh, you find yourself asking yourself a question, how much time there is left. Looking back now, um, what would I give myself advice to? That would be it. You know, just try to use the best I can those opportunities that are that are actually in front of me. Yeah, it feels so organic. Yeah, under the sun and on one planet. Yeah. Tennis career, you can never have everything perfect, and uh, you know you always have uh, some difficulties and struggles and challenges ahead, and uh, so that's also a beauty of the sport. You can understand the frustration. Yeah, you gotta live life just to love life. And it was not easy, uh, you know, when, when you enjoy success, which I had as well, uh, you know, many years, 
having really good seasons, uh, it's it's also a challenge mentally that you just you know keep yourself very positive. Uh, being a father is just an incredible feeling. You know, last year was, was an incredible blessing for me. My first son was born and me and my wife had an amazing year. And now he's 15 months old, so uh, enjoying every single day with him. And, you know, that definitely changes pers perspective. Do you remember the beginning? First time your eyes met mine. Kids and babies are so pure in that sense. They fall down, they get up. Uh, nothing like not, nothing happened, and you can actually learn so much uh, from them. When you fall down, you get up. You fall down, you get up. But also learning through those experiences. I also ask myself that question: How would I like to be remembered? You know, when I get to the old stage of my life, would it be because of my results or would it be just uh, because of something else? I would say, okay, it's definitely great to have this success and everything, but also that I enjoyed myself. I worked hard, but enjoyed myself and had a great time uh, in my life. So hopefully because of that. Thank you.